November 30th, 2022. A breathtaking force emerged from the Pioneer Building, San Francisco, California, a place that serves as the headquarters for OpenAI. It's called ChatGPT, and it single-handedly revolutionized everything. It gave birth to new AI chatbots purposely built for specific tasks. March 21st, 2023, the race to build the best AIs was in full swing. Nobody knew what was going to happen the very next day. On March 22nd, 2022, this happened. More than 1,300 tech industry leaders, researchers, and others are now asking for a pause in the development of artificial intelligence to consider the risks. But why? Musk and others say advanced AI, which allows computers to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, could pose, quote, profound risk to society and humanity. Honestly, when I heard this news, I was shocked to my core. Mike, why would the founder of a company that revolutionized artificial intelligence sign up to pause research on his company's main product? Many signatories to this. They're basically saying, we've come quite far, stop. We need to rethink the parameters around this. So I turned on my computer, inserted my earphones where any sane human would insert them, and started researching this development. Here is all I found out. It is a cliche that if you give a human power to something that isn't human, it's gonna be disastrous. And this has been happening for the past six months, and it needed to stop. So, some sane minds like Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and experts from Twitter, Google, and Microsoft co-signed a letter that served as an agreement to pause further research and development of AI models more powerful than GPT-4. The letter's body was quite dramatic, and it read, should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? It further continues to say, powerful AI systems should be developed only once we are confident that their effects will be positive and the risks will be manageable. In my opinion, the key term here is confidence. It's astonishing. If you were not confident in the first place, why did you roll off AIs that exist today? Why did you pay so much money to the experts who were meant to figure out the cultural and societal effects of this technology? And then you guys acted so sure that the AI technology was meant for making human lives easier. Always better late than never. But here is a point to note. Most notable names were conspicuously absent from the list of signatories. Senior executives at OpenAI and big tech companies, as well as vocal critics of AI, like former Google engineer Timnit Gerbru, were not included. It's kind of weird, but I have a feeling that all of them will, at one point, shake hands. One thing that made me scratch my head was the origin of this letter. Who was the sensible entity behind this? Upon digging, I found out that this letter was sponsored by the Future of Life Institute, a nonprofit organization, and this letter is part of the long termism movement. Long termism is a philosophical approach that prioritizes mitigating risks to humanity in the distant future, an ideology that has gained popularity among some tech billionaires. Interestingly, the Future of Life Institute has received support from high profile figures in the tech industry, including Elon Musk. John Talon, the founder of Skype, and Vitalik Buterin, the creator of the Ethereum cryptocurrency. Their involvement underscores the gravity of the AI debate and the urgent need to address its ethical implications. This is a huge development. But if you investigate it, the pause is only for six months. It's a bit funny if they think humans will be able to muster up supernatural capabilities in this short span to compete with highly trained AI models. What they have called this is a short pause to improve the system in a way that they are more helpful to humans than ever before. But for that, you don't need just six months. It's a long-term transition that would take us humans ages to adopt. You are living in a fool's paradise if you think six months is enough time to come up with a plan. Guys, look at this whole conundrum this way. Look, the concept of artificial intelligence has been in development and exploration for over six decades leading us to the advanced capabilities we possess today. Ensuring the safety of superhuman intelligence, though not perfect, might require a substantial amount of time as well. 
It could plausibly take a minimum of half the time it took to reach our current AI proficiency to achieve a level of safety that prevents catastrophic consequences for humanity. All I can infer about this letter is that it is a compelling plea to governments requesting that they impose a moratorium on AI development if the industry does not voluntarily comply. Many US lawmakers have expressed the need for new regulations surrounding AI and its development, but no significant proposals have successfully navigated the legislative process. The European Union unveiled an extensive proposal for regulating AI back in 2021, but it is yet to be enacted into law. Also, this letter clearly emphasizes that no tool more powerful than GPT-4 should be released in this void period. But what did GPT-4 do? Let me take you on a journey where I explain every threat imposed by GPT-4 so far. So, while I was crushing my keyboard, I somehow managed to land on this research paper which was released by OpenAI themselves. It indexes the exposure of this tech to professionals from different walks of life. From this list, you can almost see every post-degree occupation is getting affected. If you have an engineering or a computer science degree and you're planning to hit the bar tonight because you think you're safe, just stop. The mathematicians listed here are not just the people who add 2 plus 2. Mathematics is the core of engineering, and it serves as the basis for logic building in most coding applications. Who would want to hire you if you solve complex engineering problems in weeks or even months? The same goes for coders. A logic that takes you hours to build can be built using GPT in a matter of seconds. So, all of us are in this vicious circle of extremely high uncertainty. If you are a factory laborer and watching this video makes you feel like you're going to be the next esteemed boss, the paper revealed your fate as well. This paper addresses the US and astonishingly, around 80% of workers could see at least 10% of their tasks affected by the advent of these advanced AI systems. Furthermore, nearly 19% of workers might experience at least half of their tasks being influenced by LLMs or large language models. While the study refrains from predicting a timeline for the development or adoption of these models, the implications are significant. It also suggests that approximately 15% of all tasks in the US could be executed significantly faster without compromising quality. When considering the software and the tools built on top of LLMs, this figure surges to between 47 and 56% of all tasks. Another concern that made it a no-brainer to stop further enhancement in AI is education. Firstly, students now rely heavily on these digital tutors for immediate answers, circumventing the need to dig deep into subjects or engaging in critical thinking. As a result, the knowledge acquired may be superficial, undermining the very essence of the educational process. Furthermore, the role of educators is increasingly diminished, as chatbots usurp their place in guiding students. Educators, once revered for their wisdom and experience, now face a looming threat of obsolescence. With chatbots providing tailored assistance and resources at the student's fingertips, the human touch with its innate empathy and emotional intelligence is often cast aside. It doesn't end here. With instant access to solutions and insights, cheating and plagiarism have become worryingly commonplace. The ease of access to knowledge runs the risk of breeding a generation of students lacking in accountability and work ethics. If you are in your teenage years and you're planning to miss out on a college degree, I would strictly impose it on you to focus on your education. Even if you don't land the dream job as Apple's CEO, after four to five years of a college degree, you learn a lot of things that would eventually take you closer to your goal. Your alma teaches you the invaluable skill of presenting yourself and communicating with others. Not only that, it exposes you to a realm of real-world experiences from which not only do you learn, but you also groom yourself as a professional. It might seem today that AI will take over your job, but it would give life to more job opportunities. So set your greed aside and groom yourself first for the new world. This is about to take birth as AI takes over. It was never like AI would hold a bazooka and bomb all of us to death. The problem with AI widespread is deeper than you think. It's not the element of bloodshed that is terrifying. It's the element of control that we are giving to some entity that is not even human. In recent months, many experts have voiced their concerns, highlighting the fact that AI systems are increasingly being imbued with sexist 
and racist biases. This troubling phenomenon is seeping into a growing number of technological products, impacting society on a far-reaching scale. AIs are also guilty of promoting anti-vaccine conspiracies, election denialism, and hate content. This can devastate humans to an extent. Not even another world war could achieve as we will be extrinsically programmed into believing something that defies both logic and morality. The invaluable element of respect that we have for each other will eventually diminish as we keep referring to these chatbots instead of humans. If you think you still have the element of veneration left in you, prove it by hitting the subscribe button. Boy, it takes me ages to research and produce factful and entertaining content for you, so I think that's the least I deserve. I've made an interesting comparison of AI chatbots that would revolutionize the way you use them for your professional needs. The link is one of your screens. I'll catch you there.